Three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Welcome back to TTM Chase. Today we're going to be going through all my breakout plays. Um, and we're going to decide whether or not we should keep and or delete. So what do I mean by that? So normally every day at the end of the market close, I come home, I pick one of my scanners to run. Here, let's just click one. I run my scan. It pulls up all the stocks that fall within the criteria I'm looking for. I organize it by its close and what exchange it's on. And then I go through each and every last one of them. I pick and pull. So there's 234 total. But I go through and I pick and pull each day which ones look like they will have a breakout and or I can make a possible gain off of them. So with that being said, <clears throat> I have a long list of breakout plays, some old, some new, but a lot of them old which I need to go through and I haven't cleaned out this list in quite some time. So as you can see, here's a couple of them that we're going to go through and we need to clean these out. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the technical analysis on each one with an unbiased opinion and you just comment below in the comments whether we keep and or delete but i need to clean out this list all right so first up as you can see as you hear breakout plays all of them listed some old some new so <clears throat> everyone knows acre has been on my list for quite some time all right so let's just jump right into it so ticker aker um just a quick review over the Bollinger Bands. A lot of people use the uh, two standard deviation Bollinger Bands, which is a 20 period moving average line like this with the till lines. That's two standard deviations, the one on the outer of the uh, bands. I also add a one standard deviation within the two bands, okay? Now, as the 20 period average moves, the bottom one acts as a 10 period moving average because it moves parallel to it, and this top one acts as a 30 period moving average, okay? Now, when the stock is in a strong downtrend, it will stay between the bottom two bands, as you can see here. Downtrend, it stays between the bottom two bands. Anytime a stock is trying to reverse and or break out, it'll break above the uh, one standard deviation bottom band here and begin to consolidate and hold, and then you'll possibly get a breakout. So again, strong downtrend, could not break above, and then finally it crashed, all right? now. We consolidated, we broke above, and then we begin moving up. Now, the same as is below on a downtrend is the same as is above on an uptrend. When we're on a strong uptrend, it will stay between the top two bands, letting me know that the trend is very the trend is very strong. If it dips below the middle two bands, so the top two very bullish. If it dips down here, it's bullish. If it crosses below the twenty, the net for me is. A sell signal because that means the start of a possible downtrend and then if it breaks below and head down here then I know a downtrend has begun. So <clears throat> now that we went through that, AKER has had uh, a run up to 63 It began dropping back down and it's been consolidating in this general area and now it has had a breakout but as you can see on this breakout even though it's on high volume above average you get this long candle wick at the top which means there was a lot of profit taken from those who got in down here at the 38s they sold up here into that 59 okay so with that profit taken it created this long wick and then the following day some slight selling on uh, just below average volume so what we're looking for moving forward a lot of people don't know and I don't think a lot of people who use Bollinger Bands use them right the reason why you have a 20 period moving average with a one standard deviation such as I use or the standard two standard deviation, your Bollinger Bands actually create your support and resistance based off the 20 period movement of the price action. So as you see the 20 period runs into the 40, if I smack it across, you see this, that's support. As you see this top standard deviation band right here, one standard is at 48, if I smack it across, that's resistance. You see that channel it was in? As it breaks out, you see this right here? The outside top two standard deviation Bollinger Band lines up right at uh, 56. That's the strong resistance area. That's the area where it's having issues breaking above. So your Bollinger Bands automatically plot your support and resistance based off a 20 period moving average of the price action. So a lot of people don't know that. Okay, so now what the ticker AKER is working with, you have this 48 as immediate support 
and then your secondary support is 40 cents right where the 20 pair moving average is coming up at so um this should either hold above 48 or it should begin to pull back into this general area where i'm sure a lot of buying will take place and then hopefully a breakout will happen again but current support 40 48 with a strong resistance at 56 if you break uh above that two standard deviation bollinger band on high volume and it continues to go then that means a new uptrend has started if it breaks below this outside bollinger band and goes down that means a new downtrend has started okay so ticket aker should we keep and or delete comment below all right moving on ticket atos all right so ticket atos mapping out the bollinger bands as you can see uh, it's the media support is 53 cents as the uh, one standard deviation is telling us the media resistance is that 20 period moving average right at 60 then you have 59 and 77 <clears throat> all right i know a lot of lines but this 53 cents uh should hold as immediate support hopefully okay if it does not then we're looking at the next support is down here around 45 to 42 cents where you see the Bollinger Bands are beginning to pull in to catch up with that 20 period average of the price action. Now, one thing it is doing is it's consolidating in this area. This is why your Bollinger Bands are beginning to squeeze and constrict and get real tight, meaning there's low price action. It's not ranging uh, too high or too low, okay? It's real, the volatility isn't there. Now, normally when you have low volatility, that means there's a major breakout around the corner. So. Uh, one thing that we're looking at is for that 53 cents to hold a break above that 20 pair moving average at 60 uh, with 69 to 77 as its immediate resistance um, this is what we're looking at now our RSI as you can see has been holding on that run it had from 22 to 89 cents our RSI did make a bullish cross above that 10 period moving average and stayed above it to show that the momentum was in the bulls favor now we've kind of fallen below that 10 period moving average double bottom on the 30 period and then came back up and got rejected by the 10 all right so to me that isn't a good sign okay now one thing that did happen with the rsis anytime a trend is still in a bullish state it will find support on the 50 and or the 40 so as you can see even though it's below that 10 period moving average the yellow line it bounced off the 50 and you can see right here it's holding all right so it, this could go either way all right i'm trying not to be biased and try to swing anybody's opinion on it but what we want to see is this hold above 50 and then we want to have a clean break above that 20 period moving average as the bollinger bands begin to constrict if this breaks above 10 and begins to move up then that shows the momentum is back in the bull's favor and then that goes along with the breakouts where we should break out and have an uptrend and if it doesn't you can break down and have a downtrend but pay attention to your resistance and supports remember comment below keep a delete all right so now moving on to take a bp mx so let's go down let's look at our lines of support and resistance so as you can see take a bp mx was on the strong downtrend mind you between the two bollinger bands and unable to break about the 20 period moving average finally it hit a bottom right here at this 10 cent and it began moving sideways and consolidating right above the one standard deviation and moved above the 20 which puts it in a bullish state had this uptrend run and now it had a pullback so <clears throat> immediate line of support it looks like the 20 period moving average is holding it right now 16.3 with 18 as resistance and 20. uh if that 20 period moving average seems to fail then again you have 14 cents holding here the bands are beginning to constrict as you can see removing the lines the bands are curling in and coming in to constrict so this may be a low volatility uh moment to where you may not have wild price swings and may consolidate right here between this 14 and 18 cent range as the bands begin to constrict and then maybe have a breakout to the downside or up to the upside uh the rsi is still in a bullish state as you can see here um so do we keep or do we delete uh right now it looks very bullish i'm trying not to have a biased opinion comment below all right ticker btcs now with ticker btcs we know that this seven and a half to eight cents has been a very strong line of support going all the way back to september as you can see here support support and then again support each time it hit the support it has a run up back in september hit the support ran up to 22 november hit that line of support ran up to 30 cents 
And now we're here again where we're hitting this line of support, hit that nice bounce, and now we're consolidating. The bottom of the bands are beginning to constrict, as you can see here. Um, and then it is kind of in a bearish state somewhat because it's between the 20 period moving average. Now, as it begin, the uh, bands begin to constrict, then we know our breakout is around the corner and it is currently consolidating. So what we want to see is that 9 cent hold here, 10 cent as immediate resistance with an 11 and 12. So the bid um, on this is pretty narrow. Okay, now a breakout above 12 will put us on that new uptrend with 14 as that next line of resistance since that is the 50 period moving average. So do we keep a delete knowing that we are near support comment below all right ticker cpst all right looking at ticker cpst a double bottomed out here at this 69 to 70 cent range had this nice run up as you can see here topped out at a dollar three and now it has found support right here on the 50 period moving average right at 78 to 79 cents let's map this out nice bounce off with some accumulation mind you that wick right there media line of support is 89 to 90 cents and then 97 to 98 cents now again if that 50 period moving average seems to fail then again support is down here at 73 and then worst case at that 65 cent mark which shows this old resistance back in this area down here all right so what we want to do is we want to stay in this channel all right if you fall and fail through that support then that puts you back in this channel here you fall through this channel then that puts you back at the bottom down here all right and then we all know if you break below that two standard deviation then that signals a new downtrend has begun okay so we want to see some consolidation right here between that 79 to 89 cent range with a possible breakout rsi <clears throat> is still in a bullish state is right here in that 50 area as we talked about before those who follow my channel anytime a trend is still in a bullish state it will find support in that 40 to 50 area all right so right here as you can see the rsi has come down and it's found support right here on that 50 area and it's trying to trend back up so do we keep a delete comment below take a cpst all right, moving on, ticker CFMS. Now, we had this strong gap down on ticker CFMS. As you can see here, and the gap has not been filled. So, immediate lines of support, we got, uh, excuse me, let me change the color on that. You got $1.31 as support and $1.22 as the next line of support. As you see here, it's right where that channel is at. Now, the 20 period moving average is holding it up pretty well. The 20 period moving average is right at a dollar forty. So that's this immediate line of support. As you can see here, it's bouncing off of it. And this immediate resistance is 148, this channel. So it's in a tight channel right now. As you can see, the bottoms of bands are coming in to constrict, which means low volatility. Low volatility means the price swings aren't wild. Okay, this is a wild price swing. 115 to dollar fifty-four. That's a very wild price swing. When volatility is low, that means the price swings aren't swinging wild anymore. They're very tight. The bid is very tight. When the bid is very tight, then that means a breakout is around the corner. Mind you, why the bottom of the bands are beginning to constrict. So we're moving all the lines. <clears throat> We're right in this general area with the bands constricting. Your RSI is holding above that 10 period moving average and it crossed above the 30 period moving average. So it's in a very bullish state. Okay, so do we keep or delete? It could have a breakout here very soon. Mind you, the lines of support and resistance. Comment below. CHFS. Now I was actually playing ticket CHFS and I played it at the wrong time. So as you can see here, ticket CHFS. The bands were tight, had a breakout, began running up the 50 period moving average. It's amazing how this line has smacked this price down, has literally held this down as you can see. And then it continued on to this downtrend and now the 50 period moving average has leveled out at 3.57. So the media line of support is at $3.08 where the one standard deviation Bollinger Band is at. If you look straight across, it's amazing how your Bollinger Bands plot your support and resistance line for you because as you can see this is the old line of support here now if that three dollars and eight cents fell worst case 273 <clears throat> is this next line of support and then of course if you break 273 you are back on a new downtrend lines of resistance 341 with a 20 period moving at moving a 20 period moving averages that but the major line of resistance is right here at 357 right where your 50 period moving averages that it has been given this 
stock trouble ever since it has been trending down all right so do we keep or delete we are in this very tight window and it's currently consolidating at a possible bottom comment below moving on ticker c p h i all right so this one was actually on my top three for the week it popped up on my scanners now do we keep or delete this one anytime a stock again is in a bullish trend it will stay in its 40 to 50 range on the rsi so as you can see here <clears throat> the entire time the bands were tight back here and constricting it stayed in that general area 40 to 50 to show that the trend was bullish and then it finally had to break out here okay now we crossed below had this major downtrend and we found support where did we find support right at the 40 on the rsi had to break out okay when i seen that this bounce support right at the 40 that's when i alerted all of my followers and then it ran up from uh 26 to 45 now looking at recent price action had the breakout here on a decent volume but then there was some selling that's why you have this long candle wick right here a lot of people taking profit and then the following day it created a higher high but closed in the red to show there was a lot of profit taken and buyers were not entering at that price range so we should see a pullback now where do we find the pullback remember i told you if a stock is in a bullish trend it will stay in between the upper two bands that's a super bullish trend if it stays between the 20 period moving average and the one standard deviation then that's bullish anything that falls below 20 is a bearish trend and we will wait for consolidation to get a breakout above so right now <clears throat> as you can see it has topped out at 45 cents and we are looking for a pullback now the current support is at 40 and 37 cents so to know uh, if this is a new trend that has begun when this begins to pull back we want to either find support right at 40 and or at 37 and then get a nice bounce off to continue this uptrend so knowing that do we keep or delete or has this stock had its run and will bottom well not bottom out but contend uh start a downtrend that's for you to decide let me know below all right take a ctrv this one has had some wild price swings as you can see but it is now beginning to consolidate this one has been on a crazy downtrend as you can see below that bond those two bands tried to come up to start a bullish trend rejected by the 20 period moving average bearish bearish rejected bearish rejected rejected and then it just sold all the way out now has it bottomed out right here current support is right at 25 cents with a one standard deviation is showing you a worst case scenario if it breaks 25 then you have 22 down here and if it breaks 22 we start a new downtrend now the lines of resistance 20 pair moving average at 27 and then 29 cents which is old support back here on that dip so while price wings bollinger bands are beginning to come in to constrict a little bit will this one continue on a downtrend or will it finally have a breakout above that 50 pair moving average right at 32 cents to begin a new uptrend all right so comment below do we keep or delete this one <clears throat> all right ticker cytx so as you can see here on ticker cytx had a nice run up and now it has bottomed out right here in that 30 range okay so immediate lines of support is right here at 31 and a half with a line of resistance 20 period moving average at 36 so right now we have kind of some consolidation right here between 32 to 36 cents as you get this bounce right here now what we should look at if it breaks below that 31 and a half to 32 cents then your next line of support is right here at 26 to 27 cents which was this old area uh, resistance okay now lines of uh, immediate resistance is 41 and 46 so we know we have consolidation with support at 31 and a half resistance at 36 and a half do we keep or delete your rsi is showing that the momentum is shifting into the bulls favor and there is a breakout pending will the breakout be on the upside or the downside comment below <clears throat> all right moving on ticker i bio now with ticker i b i o had this gap down right here right at the 24 cent bottom out at 14 ran up to fill the gap and then came back down ran up to 26 cents so we are creating higher highs and higher lows here's a low here's a high here's a higher low here's a higher high here's a higher low right at 18 cents 
where it is bottomed out. It's currently finding support on the 50 period moving average at 19 cents and holding above with resistance uh, right here at the 20 period moving average. So it is in this tight channel right here. What we want to look for is a breakout to head up into that 21 cents and a break above 22 to show that a new uptrend has started and possibly make another higher high right here at that 29 cents uh, right above 26 to keep with the trend of a higher high to a higher low. So do we keep or delete comment below? All right, ticker IMUC. Now, as we can see here, this one <clears throat> is on a major consolidation. As you can see, it was on a strong downtrend, mind you, between the two bands. Finally broke out of that downtrend right here and has been holding above that one standard deviation Bollinger Band. As you can see, the bands are beginning to constrict, showing that the volatility is beginning to get real low and it's consolidating in this price range of 23 to 26 cents in this general area okay so what we want to see now is a breakout because the breakout is pending as you can see the bands are beginning to constrict a break down below 23 will put you back at that 22 channel and then a break below 22 will put you back down in this area okay now a break above 26 will put you into that next line of resistance at 28 and then a break above 28 will put you on another uptrend to head back into these highs so do we keep or delete the RSI has had a clean breakout and bounce off the 30 which is a very bullish move all right ticker JAGX this is the one I actually played for a small profit I think I made like 50 bucks off of this one but um, as you can see it was on a strong downtrend mind you between the two bands tried to break out and then fell right back down between the bands started consolidating right here at this 12 cent range and now it's creating higher highs and higher lows here's a high higher low higher high broke back down to that 12 cents range and then made another higher high so right now <clears throat> the 50 period moving average is holding as support right at 14 cents with an immediate line of resistance right here at 15 cents as we know everyone who's been playing the stock for the past week or two it has been consolidating between 14 and 15 cents so we are looking for a very very strong breakout if it breaks down to the downside then that puts you back at this two standard deviation Bollinger Band of 12 cents which was old support as you can see here and here and then if it breaks below then that puts you back on a new downtrend so a break above 15 will put you into that next line of resistance at 16 and then a break above that would signal a new uptrend so do we keep a delete comment below <clears throat> all right ticket M Y O now looking at ticket MYO, it had this nice run, topped out at 563, and then it came back down. All right, it broke below the 20, which was kind of a bearish move, but it found support right on that 50 period moving average. Another bullish thing to pay attention to is your 20 period moving average has crossed above the 50 period moving average, which is very bullish. Now the price action is currently holding support right on top of that 50 period moving average. So current line of support is 375, as you can see going across. That was old support. Also current line of resistance is 415 right with a 20 period moving average that so it is back in this old channel where it was at before it had to break out all right so now we're back in this old channel the bollinger bands as you can see are beginning to constrict which is signaling a low volatility and a breakout to happen soon now will it break out to the upside or the downside if it breaks to the downside then it puts you back here at 335 which is the bottom of this trend okay where it dipped down at and then if you break below that 335 that puts you back on a downtrend into these lows down here now again 415 resistance with 455 and 495 okay those are your lines one thing about the rsi on myo it is still in a bullish trend though if you pay attention remember i tell all of my followers if the stock is staying in a bullish trend it will find support in that 40 to 50 area if it does not bounce off your 10 period moving average that follows it so as you can see here it broke out found support in that 40 40 period uh not 40 period moving average but found support right at 40 had that bounce ran up again came back down find that support in that 40 to 50 area ran back up again came back down find a support right here in that 40 to 50 area and is running back up and currently consolidating so it's kind of in a bullish trend we want to see and wait for the breakout if it has that breakout then your rsi should continue up to head back into these areas up in here and make a new high above 563 so do we keep a delete comment below 
All right, check out NETE. We know this is another stock that follows Bitcoin. It has this nice spike up to $33, and it has been on a downtrend, mind you, between the two bands and unable to break above that 20 period moving average. So, right now, it looks like it's consolidating in this general area with its main line of support currently at 572, where this two standard deviation Bollinger Band is at. It correlates with this drop down here, and then its main line of resistance is right here at right on top at 619 okay so this is getting very tight okay um and we're working into this window so just looking at this if it falls below that 572 then again you know we are starting a new downtrend the bollinger bands are beginning to constrict signaling a breakout so do we keep and or delete this one do you try to play the bottom at 572 and see if you can get a nice bounce play into that resistance of 878 or do you just stay out the way and let this stock show you that it is bottomed out before you get in so keep a delete comment below <clears throat> all right ticket OHRP so looking at ticket OHRP I actually played this one I took a small loss on it so this one has been on a down trend it fell between the two bands showing us that the downtrend was strong could not break above that 20 period moving average still stable um, between these two bands now it has finally look like it's bottomed out as your two standard deviation bollinger band is showing support right here at 24 cents as you can see it's constantly bouncing off that 24 cents and holding above the median line of resistance is 27 so you're in a tight channel of 24 to 27 cents now if that 24 cents fails then you continue on to a downtrend if you break above 27 cents then you have 30 32 and 35 as resistance which correlates with all the old channels that it was sitting in okay so removing all of the lines, do we keep and or delete? Do you try to play the bottom and get a nice bounce play, or do you just delete and wait it out? Comment below. All right, ticker TOPS, shipping stocks. All right, so the shipping stock has been on a very strong downtrend. As you can see, between the two bands, could not close above that 20 period moving average. It actually broke above and it came back down broke above again and then came back down so right now is this the bottom two standard deviation saying 17 cents of support with a media resistance at 19 cents so you are in this tight channel right here now if you fall uh, below that 17 cents then this downtrend that you see here will continue into lower lows if you can break above 19 cents then you're looking at 21 22 and 24 right where that 50 period moving average is at um, as lines of resistance this is the bands are very tight right now meaning that the bid um, as spread is very narrow okay now do you try to play the bottom and get a breakout play or do you just move out the way and move on to something else keep or delete comment below and ticker T R O V last but not least all right, so looking at ticket TROV, you had this gap down and bottomed out right here at 23 cents. Ran up to fill the gap at 41, made a higher low. <clears throat> Ran up to 43.90, right at 44 cents, made a higher high, and now we're back down to uh, 30 cents, which is a higher low. Median line of support is 29 cents, and the main line of resistance, as you see, is the 50 period moving average, which is currently smacking us down right at 32 cents so we are right in this channel right here back in this channel as you can see here we're back in this channel so support 29 resistance 32 again if you have that break below 29 then that puts you back down here at the 25 cent range where this channel was at if you have that break above the 50 period moving average then you're looking at 35 to 38 cents as resistance which is matches these old uh, price spikes where it couldn't close above then of course you break above 38 on strong volume and continue then that signals a new uptrend now removing the lines if you look at your rsi I had this nice breakout above the 10 period moving average which signals a breakout into uptrend and then it had that run um as we said from 25 to 43 cents now it has came back down across below the 10 period moving average but it has immediately bounced off the 30 period moving average um of the rsi so it's currently in this general area okay so what we're looking for is a break above 31 cents and for that 29 cents to continue holding a break above that 31 cents would correlate with the rsi breaking above that 10 period moving average which would be a very bullish move to create a higher high probably somewhere up here in the 50 where this last line of support was at if we were to draw this across and that would make 
the higher highs that we are seeing each and every time. One, two, three. All right, so do you play the bottom and hold, or do you uh, get out the way, keep a delete? All right, so those are all my breakout plays. TTM trades, let me know in the comments below. Do I keep a delete so that way I can clean up my breakout plays list and then do my top three for the week? Until next time, I'm out. Swiftin, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.